Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tony DeClotney, and if you're wondering why we are standing here in the middle of this foyer, it's because it's mine. And so many of you guys begged me, practically, but you asked nicely, if I would do a home tour. And if you didn't know, I moved from Dallas to the LA area, so I'm in another new home. But the problem is I moved from Texas where everything is definitely bigger, which means I lost 1,300 square feet, maybe a little bit more of space, including um, another 200 square feet of garage space. So uh, definitely not the same, but it was well worth the trade-off. And I'm really, really happy and excited to show you guys around my crib. So we're going to get started here in the kitchen. Why? Because it is definitely my very, very favorite place to be in actually any house. We'll get started here. I love, love, love this kitchen. It's small. Definitely much smaller than the other kitchen that I had in Dallas, but you got to give a little to get a little. And this time I have lots of, lots of upgrades. Pretty much your standard upgraded kitchen. Granite countertops, dark mahogany uh, cabinets with stainless steel hardware on them stainless steel appliances. The one thing I do love is the Viking range and oven because I love to cook on gas stoves. It's like nothing like it and I love to cook. Um, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter then you know that because I tweet a bunch of pictures about food. My Keurig has a permanent place on my countertop so I needed deep countertops to um, house my Keurig and still give me enough space so it made it with me and as well as my kids cereal dispenser because that's important on a Saturday morning when you're not interested in getting up at 6.30. Um, they can come dispense their own cereal, eat breakfast, and go watch cartoons until mommy gets up. <laughs> Unlike the luxuries I had in Texas, this is pretty much the only place that I have to sit my visitors and guests. So I wanted it to be really sexy and just kind of just sharp and crisp, but yet very warm and comfortable. And the only person I could think of to help me pull that off was one of my BFFs, Bernard Underwood, who owns a company called An Intimate Place. He came out to help me for five long days. And I mean, we hammered it out until every single box was completely unpacked and put in its rightful place. What we did with this living room is basically took pretty much all of my existing furniture and kind of incorporated some pops of color and just gave it its own flair to kind of match the Spanish architecture, uh, architecture here at my new place. As with any living room, the coffee table is usually the focus point of your room because it's in the center of all of your furniture. Well, in my case, this place is so small and since the living room is the first thing that you see when you walk through the door, obviously it was very important for the coffee table to, I mean, to be very much on point. So what Bernard did was to take a bunch of things that I already had and pretty much made a three-dimensional collage of some of my favorite pieces. I mean, newer pieces, I'm talking about boxes, some that I found at Hobby Lobby, some that I found, you know, at, at TJ Maxx. And then you have pieces that were very, very expensive and kind of just, just like we do with clothes, you kind of mix and match and you come out with one great product and that's pretty much what we did with this table. I love my coffee table. Very unique and it's very low to the ground, very clean lines and modern because that's my particular taste. Um, but since it's so big and, and low, it gave us the opportunity to really, really get creative with the things that go on the table. I know it might sound cozy, but I will probably honestly never use this fireplace, which is a travesty because it comes on with the flip of the switch. I haven't even turned the gas on to use it because I'm in LA. I don't really need a fireplace. But it's a, it's a good focal point for the room and it's a, you know, a pretty nice mantle. But I did get, take this opportunity to put one of my pieces of art, very heavy by the way, um, here on the base of the fireplace as an accent point. And then behind me, I have a few of my favorite books, my heavier books, which are really more like coffee table books. But because I've already done something really special, or Bernard has, with my coffee table, um, I decided to put these books here. It has my Christian Louboutin um, coffee table book, American fashion, a skull style book, and of course the um, Jean-Paul Gaultier book, which is one of my favorites, and just some other stuff like about houses and just uh, pops of color. So these pieces behind me actually came from Pier One. They're actually gorgeous pieces and they were on clearance. I got them both for $100, they were $50 each, and they were originally $200 each, so a huge savings on that. But not only that, they really tie into my furniture with the studying. One of my couches has studying, and 
the, the color scheme itself was just a perfect no-brainer fit. The other way that I incorporated art on the walls was with, actually with some pieces that I already had. These came in a set of three, and these are actually really amazing pieces that I did not have the opportunity to hang in my last house just because, like I said, the wall space just completely had me overwhelmed. So I hung these two over the couch, and then I took the third one and hung it over my dining room. That way I was able to tie everything together and again make the room flow seamlessly. This is my dining room table. It's not new to some of you that's followed me for quite some time because I've shot a couple segments in front of it. But um, the other thing that I look for when I have to move is a place for this table because it's so unique. It's not this typical where you sit in the middle of the room and have the space around it. Obviously with this high back um, bench that's uh, used as seating for the table, it has to go up against the wall. When I found this place, it had the perfect amount of space cut out just for it so that was definitely a bonus. The only other thing that I'm going to do to my dining room area is get rid of that horrible light fixture. I absolutely don't like it. I mean it's okay for some situations but not really my taste so I'm going to replace that with a nice crystal chandelier. The other thing that I love about my house is my patio. It's super serene although there's noise from the street but for the most part it's quite peaceful and it's pretty. I love the chartreuse color. Obviously, I'm wearing chartreuse now. And I was able to get some nice plants and make it my own space. Over here, we have the built-in wet bar. It's pretty cool, nothing fancy, just a great place where I can display my scotch, um, champagne glasses, wine glasses, some decorative stuff up here. Keep the champagne, jouet cold here along with some wine. So that was pretty cool that that was built in because I didn't have to find an extra space for my wine racks. As the welcome area of my house, I definitely wanted something to go on this wall. This is another picture that I found from Pier 1 as well. It was on clearance too for $50. I think the original price on this one, however, was, uh, it may have been 200 but I think it was like 250 So I really got a steal on uh, this particular piece of art. This little piece here I found was very perfect for the hallway, somewhere I can put my keys and handbag on when I come through the door, um, as well as more storage. Dork.